not be envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them. For their heart devices violence, and their lips talk of troublemaking. Then verse 3, true wisdom, a house is built, and by understanding it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Now look at verse 5. A wise man is strong. Yes, a man of knowledge increases strength. Verse 6. For by wise counsel, you will wage your own war. And in a multitude of counselors, there is what? Safety. There is what? Safety. There is what? Safety. There is safety. He says, a wise man does what? Increases what? Strength. A wise man increases what? Strength. You know, I've often said that when you receive God's word, it is vital that you understand the reason for that word in the first place. God doesn't have anything outside of his word for you. You have to establish that. That whatever God has for you is his word. God will not, you know, sometimes you hear us testifying, oh, God gave me a car. God gave me a house. God gave me this and God gave me that. In reality, God gave you his word. It was the word that he gave you that produced that material blessings. Are you hearing me? So God is not going to drop a house from heaven. God is not going to ship a car from heaven. What he's going to give you is his word. And you must establish and that has to settle in you that what God has for me is his word. In that word lies the healing. In that word lies whatever material blessings that you desire of him. God will not give you anything outside of his word. His word is his answer. Are you hearing me? So if you are expecting anything from God, let it be his word. Because in the word that God gives to you lies everything that you desire of him. If you seek anything other than his word, chances are you're going to get into error. And I can guarantee you right now that you're not going to find God outside of his word. For the Bible tells us that God is the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Outside of his word, you will not find him. Are you hearing me now? So, it is important that we understand that God and his word are one. Say that. Say, God and his word is one. Say, God is the word. The word is God. When I receive the word, say, say, when I receive the word, I receive God. Amen. Amen. 